For the given function at the given point, find a unit vector that points in the direction of no change in the function along the level curve. So to get us started here, let's begin by recalling that a function f has no change in any direction that is orthogonal to the gradient vector at a given point a, b. So in other words, where the directional derivative of the function at that point equals zero. So how can we find such a vector? Well, if we go ahead and let the gradient vector be defined by the components or the vector with components, the partial derivative of the function with respect to x, partial derivative of the function with respect to y, then we are able to conclude that the dot product of the gradient vector with some vector u is equal to 0 when this vector u is the vector with components minus the partial derivative of the function with respect to y partial derivative of the function with respect to x. So we're going to use this conclusion here to help us find a unit vector that points in the direction of no change in this function along the level curve. So the first thing that we need to do is find the gradient vector. So we want the gradient vector at the point to 1. So to do this, we need the partial derivatives. So we have the partial derivative of the function with respect to x is equal to 2x plus 4y. And now evaluating this partial derivative at the point to 1, we have 2 times 2 is 4, plus 4 times 1 is 4, which leaves us with 8. And then the partial derivative of the function with respect to y leaves us with 4x minus 2y. And again, evaluating this partial derivative with respect to y at the point to 1, we have 4 times 2 is 8 minus 2 times 1 is 2, which leaves us with 6. So therefore, the gradient vector at the ordered pair to 1 is the vector with components 8, 6. So we have the gradient vector, and now we want to use this gradient vector to define a vector orthogonal to it. So if we go ahead here and let's just let these components be defined as the partial derivative of the function with respect to x, partial derivative of the function with respect to y, then we can say that a vector u defined by the components minus the partial derivative with respect to y, partial derivative with respect to x at this point is the vector negative 6, 8. So vector u and the gradient vector are orthogonal. And we can easily check this by taking the dot product of that. So I'll leave that double checking up to you. But don't get so excited that we found this vector pointing in the direction of no change that we stop. We need this vector to be a unit vector. So we need to double check this vector u. So we want to know, is the magnitude of vector u equal to 1? I don't know. Let's find out. So we have the magnitude of this vector u is equal to the square root of negative 6 squared, which is 36, plus 8 squared, which is 64. So we have the square root of 100, which equals 10. So this does not equal 1. So vector u here is not a unit vector. So we need to now find a unit vector pointing in the direction of vector u. And we know how to do this. We know that our vector, we'll call this vector w, is defined as vector u by the magnitude of vector u. So we have negative 6, 8 by 10, which we can simplify. We could factor out a scalar multiple of 2. So we have 2 times the vector with components negative 3, 4 by 10, 
which simplifies to a beautiful final answer with that scalar multiple one-fifth times the vector width components, negative three, four. So this vector w here is one possible unit vector pointing in the direction of no change in this given function along the level curve. And this is not an exclusive solution. This scalar multiple could also be negative. So we can incorporate a plus or minus here to get both possible unit vectors pointing in the direction of no change in this function along the level curve.